Hey, smart Christians, welcome back. Continuing in this whole series of dealing with individual verses that people think prove that you can lose your salvation, one of the passages, or a few of the passages that come up, and I'm going to kind of lump these all together, happens to be in the Old Testament. Psalm 51, 11 is one of those where David says, please don't take your spirit away from me and so forth, and other Old Testament passages. And I want to focus really on one in particular, but all of these are being lumped together for one particular reason. And I'll get to that reason in just a little bit. But right now, let's go to Ezekiel 18 and I'll explain more. In Ezekiel 18, it says, verse 24, but when a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice and does the same abominations that the wicked person does, shall he live. None of the righteous deeds that he has done shall be remembered for the treachery of which he is guilty and the sin he has committed for them. He shall die. Well, the reason why people will bring this passage up is because of what it says. It says that this person was a righteous person and turns away from his righteousness and does injustice. And what does it say about that person? It says that this person, this wicked person, now he's called a wicked person. Sh shall he live? No, but he shall die. The reason why you should never bring up one of these Old Testament passages is because there's something different now versus then. What's different? Well, one, primarily the main thing, Jesus was on the cross, died for our sins. What was different then? They were under the law. Remember how was the law set up? That a person would have their sins atoned for yearly and then be in right standing. Therefore, they'd be a righteous person, not because of their action, but because of this substitutionary atonement that was given that was made for them on the day of atonement. However, a person doesn't stand perpetually and eternally righteous under the old covenant because again, as long as they keep living, they're going to keep sinning. And as long as they keep sinning, they're going to need their sins to be atoned for. And until that point in time that their sins are atoned for, uh, they were, though they were once in right standing, now they are not until their sins are atoned for again. This is a yearly process that has to happen over and over again. And so when that person who's in right standing now goes and commits all these injustices, these sins, what is he no longer? He's no longer in right standing according to the old covenant. Now, you need to understand that God recognizes the heart of man. And so he has to do something about the hearts of men because man is he's desperately wicked. He's always seeking to sin. That's the issue. And God, therefore, has remedied that situation. How so? Well, in this same book, in Ezekiel, a little further along, in chapter 36, he addresses what he's going to do about the hearts of men and how he is going to save them and keep them from committing these injustices, these sins. In Ezekiel 36, God is, God is saying what he will do to remedy the situation. He says, I will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness. And from all your idols, I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart. Remember, that's their issue. A new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I, God, will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. You shall dwell in the land that I give you to you and your father. You shall be my people and I will be your God and I will deliver you from all your uncleanness. Now we can go ahead and stop there. And so what he's saying now at the latter portion of Ezekiel, remembering what he said earlier in Ezekiel, is that this issue that we're dealing with, this sin, God is saying what he will do in the future. I will do these things. And the result of him doing these things is that they will, or we will all walk in his teachings and his commandments, and we will not depart those things. He says that he will cause us to walk in his commandments. He will cause us. How? By putting a new heart in us, by putting his washing our heart and get, putting his spirit in us, changing our heart. And therefore, there's no need to worry about this person who is righteous doing all these unrighteous deeds. This person will stand forever in uh, the place of a righteous person. He will be justified going forward. And so, no, this passage in Ezekiel 18 does not prove that you can lose your salvation. As a matter of fact, that's not the same uh, atonement that we have now. And so now under this atonement, what Christ did on the cross, there is no longer any penalty of sin because that was paid for on the cross. Amen.